a lot of, a lot of people ask me about this, how I came about it, what the inspiration was, and you know, basically this this was a picture I was working on my whole life. I've, I've it's gone through a lot of different revisions. Um, my latest revision, I think, is was finally one I was satisfied with because I found the right model. Um, this face right here is, is based on my neighbor, and um, so I'm I'm not trying to paint a picture that's exactly the way Christ looks because I don't know what he looks like you know I've never seen him what I was trying to paint was more of a feeling you know a feeling of compassion of, of peace of acceptance um, so uh, in order to do that I, I rely heavily on, on photographs um, although you know most of the hair and the background and the clothes were, were painted through the years and revising it through the years you know with colors and stuff um, I, I do rely a lot of on photographs to copy that in there um, so I, I think what's more important instead of trying to paint Christ exactly how he looked since we don't really know uh, it's 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 the spirit behind it I use Photoshop a lot um, I, I, I used to use it just to um, just to prepare reference images for me to paint off of um, now I, I I blend them both together. You know, sometimes I, if I feel I need some more brush strokes, I'll I'll paint an area. You know, and I can scan that and bring it into an image. Um, so I, I I do use technology quite a bit, Photoshop and other painting programs to to paint my pictures. I hate to say that because a lot of people don't give it the respect I think that it deserves. They think, oh, you just push a button and run a filter, and there you have a painting. You know, there's there's a lot more involved. Um, it, it, it still is a painting, but um, just with some, some modern technology involved.